Let's draw Gru from the rise of the Gru. Pinions, starting with an oval shape for his head. His head, his body is roughly a third. So I'm just drawing a bit of an outline of where his body is because it's the width of his head. And then his legs get really thin as they come in. So going to draw a shape like that. Now this is what I call construction lines. And then from there, we can go ahead and draw all the details. Let's start with Gru's nose. In the middle of the head, draw a line that comes down like so. We have his nose. And then another line for his mouth. And then a smaller line for a bottom lip. Now we're going to draw his eyes. They're almost like oval shapes, but not quite. So an oval sort of with a bit of a pointy bit like so. And then inside that eye is a circle. And then inside that circle is another circle. And I'm just gonna leave a little white dot there. On the other side, we're gonna do the same. Same sort of shape with a circle inside and then another little circle with the white dot. Now I've got a little line that comes like so. He's looking a little bit worried. And then, yeah, like so now. I haven't had a chance to watch the latest Minions movie, but I can't wait. I've watched the Despicable Me ones and the Minion movie, but I haven't seen The Rise of Gru. But from what I've read, I can't wait to go and take my boys to go and see it. There we have Gru's face looking good so far. Now his hair. We're going to put his hair on by putting on his fringe and it basically comes up and then it comes across and then down in line with this eyebrow. And then we're gonna put some hair coming back here. This is like a part line for his hair. And then this is gonna come over with a little bit of a kink in there, there. And then it's gonna come down. And then he's got lots of little bits of hair coming in through here. So just flick your lines like so. And that's his hair on one side. And then we've got some other lines that come through almost got like a comb over and there's the those lines now we've got some other lines out here to describe this side of his hair it comes down the side of his face to a few more hairlines like so and then on this side we've got his ear about the same height as his eyes just going to go around those eyes, make sure they're the same sort of size and they need to make that one a bit bigger. Let's make his ear that sort of size, roughly the size of his eyes. Bit of a curve shape, another curve shape like that. So when I'm going to do a curve shape with a line there. Now let's bring his head around and he's wearing a scarf. So we're going to bring this around like this, back up. And then we're going to bring up the line from his ear and it's going to come all the way around there. So let's curve that down and around and give ourselves a bit of space. And then it comes up in there. And then we're going to put another little bit here for his scarf. Okay, let's start with these lines. Every so net often we're putting a line like so for some stripes. And here what we're going to do is we're going to bring it out and around like so, so curve, curve them over. And then here on this side, we've got, cause it's on the other side, we're gonna curve them this way and curve it around. And that, these are what make it look like they're cur it's curving over the scarf. And then here we can just start to Put the lines like that. Once we get to this half, we're gonna go back the other way. And there's the scarf looking pretty cool. Now we've got to bring down his scarf, which comes down here. And because I've got the construction lines on, this is his waist. So it's gonna come down past his waist a bit, come back up, all the way up 
back up to there and these are going to be horizontal lines you can put a little bit of a wavy bump in there just to show that it folds and you can see that that makes it looks like it goes up and down a bit and there we have his scarf now we're going to put his jacket on so a line from here and his jacket is going to come down and this is going to come around his body so we're going to draw that line first and we're going to draw the, the seam like so and then we're going to draw where his arm meets his body and it comes up and then it comes out and he's got a pocket so let's put the pocket on almost a rounded rectangle going in behind his arm we're going to have a button there so a circle with a little line like so and that's where it buttons in and then this is the other part of his jacket you can see how he's got the hem on there and this is just going to pop out through this side a little bit like that and then his arm this other arm comes up like that about the same height now his shoulders are going to come start out and they're going to come down like that the other one is up near his ears as well and he's got fairly thin arms so keep them thin then he's going to have some wristbands on one two three wristbands into there this is his jumper or his undergarment and let's do his other wristbands on the other side one two three and then his arms hands are going to come off there now they're the tricky part so i might leave them for the end now directly underneath his nose he's got a seam on his pants curve up like so little curve down and now this leg is going to curve out ever so slightly this leg's coming in and this is where these guidelines can help us out so i'm going to bring that out curve it up and then bring this back out like so looking good hope you're doing well at home i'm sure you are so shoes okay we're going to put some boots on so let's draw a line coming down on each side and we're going to try and make them symmetrical now this is the front of his boot comes around and then he's got like a little heel up, up and comes like that down a little bit of a cross and then around there you go there's his boots now if you want to put the laces on that can be quite tricky but what we'll do is some crisscrosses on his boots let's crisscross the laces down like that and then put a couple of little circles on the ends Continue the same on the other side and we'll put a sole on this part of his shoe, another little line like so, that's the sole of the shoe. Now the, heart, the hands, it's up to you if you want to draw in pen or pencil, remember it's your drawing and it's all practice. If you make a mistake and you're not happy with it, try again. Drawing is about patience and persistence. There's his finger and there's some other fingers. Now this is going to be his thumb and this is quite, kind of tricky because his fingers are going to come across in behind there. One, two, and then he's got another one there. Three, so one, two, three, four, and a thumb. So there's his hand. And now we're going to try and make that the same size on the other side. I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to start with his thumb, a line coming down and then in. And this finger here comes around and making sure it's sort of the same length. It's the first part. There it goes. And then we've got another one. And then we're going to bring that back in like that. And then we're just going to put one, two, three little fingers there like that. And there we have 
grew looking pretty cool, ready for me to put a thicker outline around him. I'm going to outline Gru with a 0.8. Make sure you keep watching because at the end of the video there is some amazing fan art from my Minions livestream video that I did. So check them out. How cool are these fan art works from my Minions live stream? Thanks so much for sending them in guys, these are fantastic. If you missed the live stream, check it out on the links above and keep drawing guys. The more you draw, the better you're going to get, just like these guys. Check out these other videos you can look at to keep drawing. Good luck with them.